Okay, uh, here we are guys. Now this is how you run Genshin Impact on a PC emulator on your Snapdragon phone. Okay, now before we run this, you actually need a phone with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or above and a device with 256 gigabytes of ROM or much more. So really to have Game Hub. Why Game Hub? Because Game Hub can even run mostly a lot of Snapdragon phones and a lot of compatibility. So yeah, okay, let's open Game Hub. So I already ran this. Okay, okay. I'm gonna teach you how to run Genshin Impact. Go to game. Go at your game. Just find the folder. Where did you paste it at? So let me go find mine. Hold on. Okay. This is the game. Genshin Impact game, okay. You have to tap this one. Since I already added this, added this one. Uh, go back to Genshin Impact. Okay, now here's the important part. This is the most important part. Copy my settings. And make sure type this command line. that go to compatibility make sure your compatibility layer should be Proton 9.0 ARM64 to make Genshin Impact work and make sure the translation parameters should choose to the fastest as possible to get the much performance as you need if it crashes then you can set the TSO mode to normal but it has like uh, less FPS drops, so yeah, that's why I choose fastest. Make sure your GPU driver is actually on the latest. If you have a uh, latest Snapdragon, like Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, then you may can run it, yeah. On the DX Vulcan version, uh, I chose the 1.10.3 async because it has less stutters than the latest one. So make, make sure this VKD D3D is 2.13 and box 64 should be 0 0.3 to that one. It should be the latest one. Okay. Now we are set. Only turn on X input. So yeah. Good to go. Uh, okay, let's go back. Before you run Genshin Impact, I have to warn you. Please turn off your Wi-Fi before launching Genshin Impact. Why? Because if you actually turn on the Wi-Fi, you will have performance issues, and I will show you why. Now let's turn it off. Get as much performance as possible. Turn the Wi-Fi off. Now launch the game. Go, let's wait. Now the controller on. Game Fusion. Wi-Fi and data. Okay, good morning. Okay, this how you should launch Genshin Impact. It should have the network error setting. Now after that, 
turn on your Wi-Fi back. Okay, now we're good. Confirm. Okay. Now we get to watch Genshin Impact. This game runs well. Okay, it does actually freezing, so let's wait for a while. Okay, data are loading. We are good. Actually good. Okay. how this game runs on a mobile phone. Now let's try to test some heavy maps like Netland, Confontaine, Mitsuma. Let's go start. 